Hi guys, I'm going to talk to you about Warrior 2 pose today. Warrior 2 pose I find is a great pose for beginners because it's reasonably safe for the body and it's really strengthening and helps get into the lower chakras. If you don't know anything about chakras, then let's just think about opening the hips and strengthening the legs. So I'm going to go through that pose with you now. So you can either watch and practice later or you can uh, come along with me today. So when you're starting Warrior 2, you want to have about a leg's distance between your legs. More advanced yogis may think about taking their legs wider if they're ready to really expand and open up the hips. But let's just work with the legs distance today. Now, when a lot of yoga students come into my studio, their legs may not be feeling very strong and their hips aren't open. So the concept of opening the body long ways, as you often see in traditional yoga, is quite challenging. So one of the first things I tell people is to turn their rear foot on a 45 degree angle so that you can feel the weight of the body going down through the outer edge of that leg. And this leg remains relatively straight. Of course, if you need to for a bit of extra support, softening at the joint of the knee is always uh, advised if you need to do that. When we look at the, at the front foot, we want to turn the front foot toward the direction that we're going to face, whether that's left or right. When we look down at the feet, I really like to prompt students to connect the sole or the heel of the front foot with the midsection of the back foot. And I find this is often a really good way to sort of start to get the concept of the lines that we're creating within the body. Now this front knee, it's very important that it tracks the second and third toe, whether it's a gentle bend, a deep bend, or you're coming really low in your warrior too. That's where you want it to be. When we think about the upper body from here, I want you to think about stacking building blocks, hips, ribs, shoulders, everything softening, everything in this straight, beautiful alignment here so that we can really pull up and draw back through centre, almost like you're rolling the body open. Now, depending on your hips, your hip is your priority over your knee. If you have to turn your knee in so it's sliding in to open this hip up, let the hip roll around a little and think about lifting the inner thigh of that front leg and rotating it up toward the ceiling. The arms are then your next extension, making sure that they're even and extended and looking out over the front middle fingers. When you think about the weight of your body, maybe sway a little and get a sense of what it feels like to rock forward or rock back and then coming into centre. Think about the front heel and the outer edge of that back foot, really holding the weight. And then when you go to come out of the pose, make sure you push strongly through that front heel and knee to straighten, turn your toes to centre, preparing yourself to practice on the other side. Thanks for watching. See you later.